Earl Bill Jr. was a horse owner, trainer, and former driver, and worked for decades to help improve Pennsylvania harness racing. Earl passed away a few years ago, and last Saturday at Pocono Downs, the Earl Beale Jr. Memorial was held in his honor. It, it's just a wonderful tribute to him because I know how much he loved horses. Uh, that was just his life, and I know this would mean so much to him. The three-year-old open trot held a purse of $500,000. Earl and I go back uh, probably 40 years. Uh, Earl was through the hard, you know, the tough times here at Mohegan Sun. Uh, he was involved in the off-track wagering back in the 80s, uh, the full card simulcasting in 93, and then in 2004, uh, the slot bill. And, and he was very instrumental because, uh, as you know, you saw us in Harrisburg many, many times, uh, protecting the horsemen in regards to health insurance, retirement, and uh, he was really the, uh, the guy who promoted having the breeders' crown here. It leads up to the sort of the Kentucky Derby of trotting, which is the Hamiltonian. And uh, this being the first year, the quality of the races that we had for this year are unbelievable. It's, just, uh, it's a great field, and uh, it's a true testament to Earl. Earl Beale Jr. was instrumental in building up harness racing in Pennsylvania. When I asked his good friend and colleague Sam Beagle about why they decided to do this memorial, he said it was a no-brainer to do something for the man who gave so much back to this sport. That was real easy. <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> uh, me and Ron Batoni thought of that. It's a great way to honor him. It sure is. Honoring Earl, nine drivers took to the track looking to win his race. And it was David Pallone who took the lead with DeJarmbro early on and kept it throughout for the victory, winning one for Earl. Quite a night at Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs for a terrific man, Earl Beale Jr., who will not soon be forgotten. And we now look forward to next year's second renewal of the Earl Beale Memorial Trot.